Where's the boy? Are you happy now? Are you happy? Yes, you're much happier. Look at that. Look at that spring in your step. Oh, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> I do need back support. <laughs> Oh, I can't do this with you anymore. Are you too heavy? Oh, yeah. 200 kilos worth. <laughs> hey, big boy. How are you feeling? So I'm arriving at the park earlier than usual. It's uh, Monday morning, huge week ahead. Performing dental surgery around about 20 animals at the sanctuary, including the leopards and the hyenas. When we did Aslan, that opened up everyone's eyes to the importance of dental health care. But if we've got the ability to make their lives better by fixing their teeth, why not? We're here at the operating theatre. It's where it's actually all going to take place. Ah, nice Hi. to meet you. Good. Good. We have such a fantastic team. <laughs> what can I say about Gerhard? <laughs> A man of few words, but when he speaks, there's wisdom. I mean, this guy travels around the world to do work on walruses and on hippopotamuses and elephants. So this week we have got a number of animals that we need to look at, but it is exciting, the atmosphere, it's where we do it, it's in the bush. Yeah, Dr. Steenkamp had some ideas, and one of those was to duplicate the, the theatre, have two tables. As the one goes down, gets stable, then we can go and fetch another. So we get normally one case that's quite bad, and one that I think is not so bad. Between myself and Dr. Steenkamp, we have over 30 years of practice. We said, okay, we've got several lions here, most likely will have broken teeth, and they can be with a root canal or extracted. So the packing that we brought with us was exactly that. And then there's Adrian, who we call him the anaesthetizer. <laughs> I've worked with many anaesthetists in my time, but there's a gut feel that he has. He uses the monitors just to verify what he's already thinking, and that's impressive. Always a little bit of anticipation, a bit of nervousness on the first day, no matter how many animals you've anaesthetized before this. And I think that's quite a good thing. Once we get going, I think everything will ease and we'll relax a lot more. Hyenas are an incredible species and I hold close to my heart. Each hyena, I'll tell you, they've got characters of note. <laughs> so metal, not strong enough for my inner <laughs> teeth. <laughs> From a perspective of the dentition, obviously hyena's teeth are quite strong. So I'm really interested to see what they think of that. So, so this hyena, Gina, is probably one of the hyenas that I have a really, really good relationship with. Banned now 15 years. So I've known her since she was a tiny little cub, before she became the top dog. And um, what's quite interesting is when you, you're romping around with her and, and, and playing, play fighting, all the other hyenas, I think, look at you and think, just what is this, this weird creature got that we don't have? Because she rules with an iron fist. And uh, yeah, there's definite fear <laughs> that goes through that enclosure. <laughs> if she doesn't like you, she picks on you. So we only have four leopards at the sanctuary. Two that are needing teeth repair are Carla and Nikita. I've got a really good relationship with Nikita. She's just an amazing cat, really, really affectionate. And it's very, very strange for a leopard to be like that. Hello, my sweetie. The leopards are going to be pretty easy to dart. In fact, the female, I'll probably just give her an injection in her buttock. Um, OK. Um, so the only reason I can do that is because she's been hand raised by me and she's actually an incredible cat. You try this with Cole, the other male, he's probably going to swing around and swipe you in the face. So, <laughs> and that's not going to end well <laughs> for my face. Probably be an improvement. Two root canals, two fractured teeth, so very similar to what we've been doing for the last few days. Once you have a fracture of a tooth, the most important bit is the pulp on the inside. Now, if you see the white bit there, that is the enamel. 
and then all of this is root. I think we have an incisor that's busted as well. Yeah, this wow. was not like this a week ago. And that infection can then go all the way down this root and eventually even out into the surrounding bone, causing inflammation or infection into that bone, potentially causing an abscess. So our aim this week is to remove all of this, get to healthy dentine, fill it with cement, the pink gutta perka, and then do a final restoration on the crown. Tau is the first lion that I ever uh, developed a relationship with. Hello, big boy. It started all oh. back in 1998, uh, when I was just 22, coming on 23 years of age. And that's where all my career with lions kick-started. So my relationship with Tao has been incredible. It's gone through a full cycle. He's now an old man. So there's several complications that one can expect when working with an older animal. Uh, you know, they're not as resilient as, as the younger cats. So we are a bit concerned that when you put him under, that uh, there could be um, breathing problems or heart problems. The one thing that makes me more nervous than anything is those things I can't control. And that would be part of the anesthetics that, that makes you humble. And we can feel the hot breath coming out. I mean, the worst thing that can always happen is losing an animal under anesthetic or, you know, something going wrong like that. Yeah. But fortunately, you know, those kinds of cases really, really are few and far between. There's always the, the trade-off as to what do you do. Do you not put him under anesthetic and um, leave him with bad teeth? Or do you, you know, take the risk and uh, give him a better quality? You can see his muscle tone is not as good as it used to be. You can see he's very thin. The ribs are showing. Two or six worn, like attrition. Stop breathing. If they really wanted to, I mean, imagine, it's all their way. Our approach is 48. Yeah, a bit slow. Give him a nice big slap on the chest there, Coach. Just let him want to take a breath. I was lost for words, really. I thought to myself, is this it? Is this how I say goodbye? It's not a very nice way. It's not how you'd imagine it after a 18 year relationship or so. We just had a, a moment there where, just as I was about to connect him up to the oxygen, he just stopped breathing for a lot longer than what I would be comfortable with. I mean, being an older lion, he can't afford to go without oxygen for a period of time, for a longer period of time than anything that's necessary. So I've actually given him an antidote now, which does mean that he might become quite light. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Right. No, good. <laughs> all all, 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 all the well. Yeah. It's a bit of a scare. Always going through your head. Okay. Preparation. I wouldn't hang around. Uh, you know, get done what needs to be done. It makes one start to reflect on how vulnerable these situations can be, how vulnerable these animals can be in your hands. This big, powerful king of the jungle, and like that, he's flat on his back, clinging on um, to life. I think he did a lot more wear than we had from the one yesterday. Uh, the 11 year old were much better dental wise than this guy. But he's also a great grandfather. Oh, my boy. Oh, my boy. Not very graceful. I think that whole adrenaline kind of rush, that emotional drain. The rest of the day, I was just mentally and physically exhausted. I'm obviously happy to have a towel back. A bit of a stressful day, a bit of an emotional day. Glad it's over. Hi guys, so it's the last morning today. We're here at the farm. I'm just coming to collect the guys. Um, don't have such a hard morning. 
Uh, just got to go and do some checkups on some of the animals, how they're faring. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> they do! Hello. Oh. Hey yeah, boy. Got he's got his attitude back, which is good. And I mean hard to believe that he was a a flat cat on the table <laughs> where we thought, oh man, maybe this is the last. <laughs> As I said to you, I told you he's got a long time left in him. You know, I work with these animals on a daily basis and I could see that um, these animals that actually know that we've done something for you know bettering their way of life. Really, not have hoped for anything better. It went really, really well walking around, seeing those animals today, just to know how quickly they've recovered back to normal. Really, it's just been fantastic. So uh, initially, we were going to count the amount of root canals we did, but we decided to add them all together and look at the length of root canals we did. And at the end of the week, we did 1.334 meters of root canals in our week. I'm sure that's a Guinness World Record. Where on earth do you get to do this? You know, that amount of predators um, in one week with those kind of people, that kind of experience in that room. If you take collectively everyone involved, it's just amazing. So definitely something that will go with me to the grave. Oh. I think if we each do what we can, to help the animals uh, as a collective, we're going to get very far.